Welcome to the series, Parts of Speech Continued. Before watching this video, please watch the Dictionary Skills series first. In that series, parts of speech are explained, including verb types, and that is in videos 2 and 3. In this series, the following parts of speech are discussed. Nouns, pronouns, adjectives, adverbs, articles, determiners, conjunctions, prepositions, and interjections. So far, the following parts of speech have been discussed. Nouns in video 1, pronouns in video 2, adjectives in video 3, adverbs in video 4, and the previous video covered articles. In this video, determiners are explained. So by the end of this video, you will have learned more about determiners, their types of determiners, and how to use them. Let's first look at some examples. Several, those, these, much, many, my, your, the, a, un, numbers. So how do determiners differ from adjectives? Determiners are considered a subtype of adjectives and they modify nouns. However, they are different from adjectives for a number of reasons. Let's zoom in on this. Determiners differ from adjectives in four ways. First, it rarely occurs that more than one determiner is used in a sentence for each noun included in it. Second, most noun phrases only use one determiner, like both my co-workers. Three, determiners differ from adjectives in that they cannot be graded or compared. And finally, many sentences don't make any sense without determiners. How determiners differ from pronouns? While some words use both determiners and pronouns, the rule to remember is that a determiner is always followed by a noun, whereas a pronoun replaces a noun. Numbers and quantifiers. There are two types of numbers. First, cardinal numbers. These are counting numbers, like one, two, three, and so on. The second type are ordinal numbers. So the form of a number like first, second, third, and so on. Cardinal and ordinal numbers are both classified as determiners when placed before a noun. Other quantifiers are much, most, little, least, any, enough, half, and whole. Please note that much can only be used with singular nouns, whereas many can only be used with plural nouns. So far, we've discussed how determiners differ from both pronouns and adjectives. We've also looked at numbers and quantifiers. Let's zoom in on the types of determiners. There are three types of determiners. One, demonstrative determiners. Two, possessive determiners. And three, interrogative determiners. Let's zoom in on each of them. Demonstrative determiners. These determiners create a distance between the speaker and the person or thing that he or she is referring to. This is singular and these are plural, and they're both used to describe things that are nearby. That and those are used to describe things that are further away. For example, that coworker did not attend the meeting, or this complaint was filed. Possessive determiners. These determiners are placed before nouns to indicate ownership, but they're not pronouns. Examples. My, your, his, hers, its, our, their. Interrogative determiners. 
Question words like which and what are placed in front of the noun to ask a question. Examples Which co-worker? What project? In this video, determiners were explained. Up next, conjunctions. If this video was useful for you, please like it and subscribe to my channel.